I'm here today to show you the last results uh, we got. Exciting results dealing with the single molecule dynamic into the cells. We decided to use uh, quantum dots, which are small molecules, bright and photostable, but also easily functionalizable system that we would like to target into the cells. The problem right now is that there are no powerful tools to uh, assist the quantum dot uh, delivery. To overcome that problem, we um, started a collaboration with uh, Emmanuel Derivry and uh, Marcos Gonzalez Gaetan, who are biophysicists. And um, we developed a new chemical tools for this based on streptavidin coated quantum dots on which we attach biotinylated cell penetrating polydisulfides. So those cell penetrating polydisulfides are cell penetrating peptide analogs based, based on a disulfide bike bond. Then we went to the microscope, a TIRF microscope, which allowed us to see in depth into the cells and we could observe 70 uh, quantum dots inside the cytosol. This was amazing for us because until now what have been published was very poreless techniques which showed the um, uptake of two to five quantum dots inside the cells. Moreover, 90% of our quantum dots were delivered uh, without be being trapped um, inside the cellular compartments, neither uh, in the plasma membrane. We went a bit further and uh, we decided to attach a GFP protein. We could observe self-assembly of those quantum dot GFP complex with um, anti-GFP nanobodies complex inside the cells. This nice uh, new tools would be very helpful in biology and uh, could help us to um, assist the cellular uptake of antibodies. Another potential um, application would be to use those quantum dots to image uh, the single molecule dynamics uh, inside the cells.